This is the Rabbit R1. Remember it? Yes. This you can't you can't miss this color, right? But when it first came out, there were some issues. But now Rabbit is back with something really cool that I think it's time to dust off and let's take a look. Hey guys, Thunder E here and. As I mentioned, I have the Rabbit R1 and the guys at Rabbit reached out to me sponsoring this video to showcase something new from them, something called Lambda Playground as well as also Rabbit Beta. The reason we're talking about these two major updates with Beta Rabbit and Lamb Playground is how good can AI be? Now it comes down to really two things. One is how well it understands you and how well it translates that understanding into action. So, if you don't know anything about Rabbit R1, it launched earlier this year. I made a video on it, I covered the device, I enjoyed the experience and I had issues with the experience. That's just the honest truth. You can go check out that video, it was there. Uh, there are things it did well, the things I liked, and there are a lot of things it just didn't do well. And also, there were issues with what people thought, okay, what's running in the background? Are you running your own language model? What are you tapping into? All that stuff, and also questions of, can this not just run as an app on your smartphone? And to be fair, it probably can, but I do like the implementation and what you're gonna see with Rabbit Beta and Lamb Playground will give you a very different idea here. So what is Rabbit Beta? First off, Rabbit Beta has been rolling out for the last couple of weeks and will be the default uh, OS on Rabbit R ones. So you basically have Rabbit Beta running. Think of it as, as the back in the day when Gmail was always beta, that, that kind of thing. Now, what's really cool about Rabbit Beta is that it's an aggregator. It allows you to tap into some of the best LLMs out there without actually you paying for it. That is very key. So things like GPT-4.0, Perplexity, Claude, allow you to use them to get the best results possible. Now, how does this actually work? Well, Rabbit has access to GPT-4.0, Claude as an example, perplexity, and you have a query, and it actually gets the answers to your query from the best options, whether it's GTP-4 giving you a better answer there, or it's perplexity at another time, or it's Claude. It's also more conversational, so you can actually ask it questions in a more conversational manner, and it will give you the direct results. So think of it as an AI that you can actually have as a personal assistant or maybe even a task rabbit to do your task for you. All right, so let's take a look at an example. Rabbit, find me five TVs, OLED, uh, priced between 500 and 2000 and rank them from best TV to worst. So it might take some time. So it's gonna go through all that. It will list the TVs and also all those answers go into the rabbit hole, your journal, so you can actually access them there later. But what's the fun thing is that I can continue that conversation I just had by also asking, so where can I buy the first TV on that list? As you notice, I didn't give an indication what TV that was. Give me a moment to look that up for you. Searching for buy LG C3 series OLED Evo 4K UHD Smart TV. Now, that was the first TV it mentioned on my list. So it understands that we're still having the conversation based on what I actually said. Some options for purchasing the LG C3 series OLED Evo 4K UHD Smart TV. One. Best Buy. Always Best Buy. So as you can see, it's got a couple of options. And again, that is in your rabbit hole, the journals there, it's updated, giving you a couple of options. So I do love the conversational aspect about it and you basically finding what you're looking for. Let's take a harder one, something that hits home more recently. Where can I buy a PS5 Pro 30th anniversary edition for less than $5,000? Did 
This this was hard to find. It's very difficult. Searching for buy PS5 Pro 30th Anniversary Edition under 5,000. Finding a PlayStation 5 Pro 30th Anniversary Edition for less than $5,000 can be challenging due to high demand and scalping. Here are some options you might consider. One. So it did give me options, but it also sourced from different websites uh, who listed different prices like PC, Mag, and things like that. But I could also go, can we just find the device on eBay and give me five options? Again, I'm not stating that it's the PS5 Pro, I just said the device. Again, going back to the formal conversation. So we'll see how well it actually goes to connect back to what I was looking for. Searching for PS5 Pro 30th Anniversary Edition site, ebay.com. Here are five options for purchasing the PlayStation 5 Pro 30th Anniversary Edition on eBay. One, PlayStation 5 Pro console 30th Anniversary PS5 Limited Edition, price $2,899. Two, PlayStation 5 Pro console 30th Anniversary Limited Edition PS5 bundle price. $50,000. Ah, oh God. You see how easy it was to find the things they're looking for and also doing that kind of search. Now you can also use it for just conversational searches. Uh, if I do something like, where are the polling centers in the Newark? No, no, cancel that. Forget that question. Uh, what is the capital of Djibouti? Searching Took a little bit of time there, but you get the idea. Djibouti is Djibouti city. It is known for its 19th century architecture and its strategic location. So you find that with the Rabbit R1 and with Rabbit Beta, there's a lot you can do conversational wise with your Rabbit R1. Now it's not just limited to voice prompts. You can also use the camera for some vision uh, math solving problems. So I do have a problem here. Look at the first one on the first line. I'm going to use uh, the vision aspect here on the Rabbit R1 with Rabbit Beta to solve that problem. So I simply do is solve this equation. And then we wait. Four minus five times I times 12 plus 11 times I. Solution, 103 minus 16 times I. So you get the idea. Now, it stated the answers this time. Initially, it just didn't state my answers previously. But the answers are in the rabbit hole uh, in the journal here. What's pretty cool is because the website I use also has solution answers for it, I can see that the answer to the solution is correct for number one, 103 minus 16 I. And then number two, the answer is minus nine plus six i yeah so again it can solve those for you which is pretty great it's it's a cool tool and you're going to see this develop and improve over time now you've seen the progress of how well it understands you let's move to that part where it now takes action to that understanding let's talk about lambda playground now lambda playground is going to be launched on october 1st and this would be accessed through rabbit hole. What you can actually do there with Lambda Playground is access a more advanced AI that handles conversations much better and is quite in tune, especially when it's helping you search to find and also get things you wanted to do. So I got to try a demo with the CEO of Rabbit and uh, I was able to ask it a question where he typed it out. I said, look, find me the best mirrorless camera in 2024. Uh, and uh, on Reddit, purchase it at Best Buy. And if it's not available at Best Buy, find it somewhere else. I could have stayed at being in photo if I wanted to or somewhere else, but I did that. Now what you notice is that it starts going through the query steps and starts looking for what you think is the best camera, selects it, goes straight to Best Buy. And what it will do is it'll select the camera and it will actually put it into your cart. Now you're going, does it have my account? No, it does not. Um, it doesn't sign into any account. Uh, if you already signed in, then it's fine. It basically will just dump it to the cart that's available, but it, was, it will basically dump it to a cart and then you can sign in and make the final purchase, which is pretty cool and great. So think of it from where we are with uh, Beta Rabbit, where I can access the search for things for me, but it can't really take it anywhere, right? It's just give me a repository of the searches. With uh, Lambda Playground, that 
takes that extension to where I want to. So I can imagine in the future, I basically see something I like, right? I'm um, walking down the street. I can basically just press and hold my camera and say, find this for me, buy and buy it right now, you know? And it would take it to my cart and I just have to basically, you know, push the purchase button whenever I want to. Or I can tell it like, hey, um, add a pair of socks to my Amazon cart, you know, or something like that, um, which is nice and unique. Now, what it may sound very simple, but the if you have to understand the different query steps it has to go to do to find what you're looking for find the right locations move the product to that location uh go through all those steps is very very impressive and it's something that they hope to expand on and improve and also you know get your input jump in play around with it and see how it is so to sum it up rabbit had a rocky start they did i mean rocky can be a nice way to put it, but they have not let back. They have not stopped improving. They haven't stopped adding more for the user. Uh, Rabbit Beta is a much great improvement in the usability of Rabbit R1. Lambda Playground looks really fun to use, especially if you want to have the ability to search for things without you going for it. I wish I could have used this in some fashion to get that PS5 Pro 30th anniversary because it would have made so much of a difference. But you get the idea here of what they're trying to do. And I commend them for not stopping, uh, which is a really good thing to try and improve, keep the product going on. But to me, one of the biggest things I've taken away from actually using Rabbit Beta is that I'm getting the best of all the different LLMs out there, being GPT-4, Claude or Plaplexity without paying for them, and I'm getting the best answer results through the Rabbit R1. So, if you're a Rabbit R1 user, update to the latest software and also check out Lambda Playground. I think it's going to be fun and exciting. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll be sure to pass it on to the team and let them know what you guys think. So, this is Thunder E saying thank you, and always enjoy your entertainment.